Hello Zaniacs, I'm Lainey. And I'm Marshall. Today we're going to talk about The Girl from Widow Hills by Megan Miranda. This is a mystery thriller type book uh, where the main character has a specific claim to fame that she was trapped in a water drain for three days as a six-year-old. Yeah. And nobody could find her and they finally did and there were tons of stories about her and how she was rescued, etc. So flash forward to present day where she has changed her name, moved to a completely different town so that she doesn't have to deal with the ramifications of being this like tragic child in yeah. life, in fame. Uh, she gets a box of artifacts from her mother who she's been estranged from for a couple years, I would say at least five. And she gets an effect because her mother has died and uh, she didn't know her mother had died. Apparently she had died like seven months earlier so they sent her a box of her stuff and it's these really random things and she doesn't really understand. She also sleepwalks. And so her next door neighbor, oh she's actually like bought the house on his land, but he finds her outside, her foot's bleeding, she doesn't know what has happened. And then uh, she, I think she works at a hospital, like she works in like the administration part of a hospital. She ends up, doesn't go to the doctor about it. Because if she goes to the doctor, then all of the stories about her past is going to come out. And because she works at a hospital, everyone she works with is going to know. So then the next night she wakes up and she has tripped over a dead man in in between her and her next door neighbor's yard. She doesn't recognize him, but also she's kind of crazed out because she knows she has been sleepwalked, sleepwalking, and she doesn't know if she's done it. Um, she doesn't think she has, but there could also be the next door neighbor. She doesn't know a lot about him, but he has always been protective of her, so she doesn't really think it's him. But things start coming up that People say you need to be careful of him because these things happen in his life and we're still not really sure about this guy. The son of the dead guy shows up in town also and she starts talking to him a little bit more about about the father and trying to figure out like who killed the father. We don't know. Like was it her? Is she violent when she sleepwalks? And then she starts getting pieces because she can't remember anything from being in the drain. Like nothing. She starts getting, and she hasn't sleepwalked in years. So, like, the reason why everyone was saying that she was, as a child, sleep, like, in the drain was because she sleepwalked out of the house and, like, fell in the drain because there was a lot of rain. But then she hasn't really had an episode in, like, a long time. So she hadn't been taking anything for it anyway. So she was really like, why am I all of a sudden starting to sleepwalk again? So she doesn't know. Uh, so this is basically the story of trying to figure out like what happened to that guy and why is she sleepwalking again and is the trauma of her past showing up to haunt her again or not. Uh -huh. See at first I was thinking that the sleepwalking was caused because she fell in the drain but if, if she fell in the drain because of the sleepwalking that suggests that there's something else going on here because yeah, something caused the sleepwalking. You're right. Yeah. Something else does cause sleepwalking. Yeah. So the, the, there's some some darkness that probably has followed her. In my thinking, I could be wrong there. I don't know. But we're gonna find out, I guess. <clears throat> so I was actually reading this book as part of like a Zoom that we do with the book club, where we all sit around and read different books at like for like a one or two hour period, and then we kind of check back in and we're like, "How do you like your book? What do you think?" So as I was reading this book, I was in the last part of it. And when we ended for that night, I had like five minutes to go toward the end of the book. And I had gotten to the part where I was like, mind blowing. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> if that gives you any indication of what this book was like, yeah, it was a ride. And I liked this book so much. So I ended up giving it four stars because I really liked the ride. And I, I, was, I liked it so much that I ended up getting another book called Fragments of the Lost that she writes as well because I wanted to see if all of her stuff was like this. I've heard a lot of really good things about Megan Miranda and the book club community with thriller books, so definitely wanting to read more of that. Okay. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.